Well, I'm Rob. Um, I'm shooting this video. This is my second round because I just found out that I'm using a GoPro, so I kind of have it really close to the screen for you to actually see it. So anyway, um, the GoPro uh, or the QC issue is um, I use a QC camera system. I have a NVR and 8816, but it's a Dahu, um, Dehu, depending on how you want to pronounce it, rebrand. Um, there's a QC application you use. Um, to see your cameras from the outside. So you can't do that now. The QC went out of business and their they shut their servers down. So um, there is a way to do it, but not through what you've normally been doing. Um, it's called DDNS. So uh, I posted something on a website and they asked for a little more detail. So I'm gonna try to do a video of it here and see if you can actually, see if it's legible enough that you can follow it. Um, so first thing I need to do is um, I'm going to have a few segments. I'll join them together and put them on YouTube. Okay? We're going to get in here to your NVR first. First things first, we need to go into your NVR and network uh, TCP IP. TCP IP. In here, you will notice you have an IP address. This is all configured. Um, it gets it from your modem router. What we're interested in is the IP address. So mine I'm using is 192.168.1.97. You write yours down. Yours will be different possibly, well most likely. But this is what you need to use when you go into your router to configure your router, okay? So that's important. One other thing we're gonna get at this point is on the ports, because on the router you're gonna open some ports. So write all this down if you want. Um, I just used the top three. I didn't end up using the rest. So. I use the TCP port, the UDP port, the HTTP port, and those, those are the port numbers. So you write this down or take a screenshot or a picture so you can use that in your router, the router segment, because you need to open up these ports um, for this to work. Okay. This is the segment where you took your information from your NVR. So I'm going to close the door here. I'm getting some noise. Okay. So when we were down on the NVR, we had a IP address of 192.168.1.97. Now that's mine. Yours would be something. I told you to write it down. This is where you come into your router. So I'm in my router. You know, you need to either look up your manual or you need to look up how to get into it, user password. There's typically a LAN setting. That's a local area network. So in here, you have a status. You have all these options. It tells you what's you know plugged in and what have you or whatever. So what I want to do is what I'm interested in is the LAN IP address allocation. Okay, so I'm going to click on that because we need to specify in the router. I want to specify my dot .97 as a static IP basically. And it's a local area network. I have control over that. So in here it allows you to configure to allow allocate specific IP addresses. So Basically, in here, um, I've selected this private fixed. So if you look at another one I have here, like for my iPad, I have a private pool from private pool. What it does is it'll, it'll be different each time it turns on. So I don't want that for my, uh, the NVR. So every time I reboot my, reboot my modem or I reboot the NVR, which it reboots it every, you know, anyway, I have a set up time it reboots. Um, it'll, it'll keep this IP. This IP is important, 192.168.1.97. So the next step in there is we have that, right? So we've done that. Usually when you make any changes, you have to hit a save. Um, mine is down here, save. Uh, it'll come back and say successful. Okay, once you have that, the next piece is to go to the firewall. So um, I'm going to click on my firewall. Um, and this is the point where you were down with the NVR. You had written or took a picture of the ports you need open. I just picked the three ports. There's like six or seven ports. But anyway, I picked the um, three ports. Um, and it, mine's already in there. Uh, basically 192.168.97. You will see these three ports that I wrote down. The, the 3777, 3777.8, and TCP85. Um, so this is 
allows it to go through and hit the NVR. Okay, so inside here though, you need to go into applications. It's different for each router, but basically, um, if you go into applications, you can create your own application because a lot of times there's different games and things listed. And I, don't, I wouldn't do a DMZ because it opens up a lot more ports, a range of ports. So this one specifically, and I didn't narrow it down. I probably should have just started with the, the 3777. That might have been good enough, but you can explore that on your own. Um, so I go in here. It shows all your devices connected. I'm going to pick the .97. So once I pick that, it'll let me um, make changes to that um, IP address in the firewall. So I'm waiting for it still. Um, give it a second here. Not a speed demon. Okay, so now it's selected. And I come in here, I already have the QC cam. So one of the things you need to do, I didn't have that, so I had to create it. So I'm gonna show you how to do that because that can be confusing for a lot of people. So I'm gonna add a new one. You can call it, uh, I called it QC Cam. I'm just going to put test 33 here now, or A test or whatever, A, -A test. And then you have a TCP port, um, 37777, um, 37777, right? And I leave the rest blank. Um, I add it to the list. And it asks me for my password, which I have it in there for my router anyway. Each, each, like I said, each router will be a little different, but they're very, very similar. So um, it'll come back, successful. Look at it, see it down here. Oop, okay, good. So the next one though is a UDP port because it's that's what it said on the side of it, right? Seven, eight, three, eight. It's the same on both sides. Um, and then I leave the rest blank, I add it. And then the HTTP port of 85 is, I looked it up, it is a TCP port. Um, okay, so now we got these two ports defined so far, and then I'm going to go in and do the 85 and 85. Okay, last one. Okay, and this is all based on this AA, AA test 33. So that's the profile name. I'm adding these in. Okay, so now I got three of them in there. So I'm going to go ahead and go back. Um, and then this is the point where I'll probably have to select my IP again. Like I said, each router is different, so let's give it a second. Okay. You know, the router is doing all kinds of other things, so it'll eventually get there. So I'm going to choose it again. And then what I'm doing now is you can assign it to an application. I cre we created an application, A test 33. Um, so I'll show you how. So that's now selected. You come down here. There it is, A test 33. You'd hit add. Now I've already done mine, QC cam. So I'm not going to do it again. But anyway, basically you add it. You have it over there. And then typically when you go to your status of your firewall, you'll see you will see the ports um, that you forwarded. So right here I have 19.97, what I called it, and then the ports I opened. Okay, that's, that's what you need to do at this point. The next step is going to the DDNS and um, setting that account up. This is the DDNS setup. Um, you gotta create an account in my system, I only had three options. One of them was QC option, which I'm not using. Even though that server's still running, I looked up the domain name and it so it was expiring in a few months, April, anyway, a few months in this year, so I don't, I'm not going to count on it. The other two are um, pay accounts. Um, so this no dot, no at, no IP dot com is, uh, is the one I'm trying because it's free to use if you want to confirm every month. If not, it's 25 bucks a year or you can get a discount for 20. Um, like I said, there's three and the other one is not free anymore. The other selection um, that was in my NVR because it was, um, you know, bought by Oracle or someone and it's 20, it's like 30 something bucks, 35 bucks. So I didn't try that one. I tried the YDNS, it's free created the account but the problem is I think I only have three options and 
I tried it under one option and gave it the servers, but it just didn't like it. So this one will work. So this is what I used. So you come over here, you have to click sign up. And this is a, you pick an email address and a password. And then this is what's important, this hop2.org. So this is where you'd put like, you know, you know, your street name, you know, your camera, whatever it may be. In this case, um, I'll just put camera, street camera, or home camera. I mean, you can pick what you want. Um, unless it, it'll tell you if someone else has it. Um, home camera hop 2org because that's well, that'll be important. And then you come in here, um, and I'm gonna do the free one right now. So free sign up. Oh, host name not available. So I'm gonna call it host camera 99. Someone already got that one. Let's try that one. That one worked. Okay, so it's gonna send me an email. So I need to go to my email um, here. Okay, it's a confirmation. So you basically got to confirm it. Okay, so now you're in. One of the things you'll notice here is you have how you remotely connect it. So you create your host name. That's what we're. That's what we did. We called it Street or Home Camera. Hop Two. Dot Org. Download. We don't need to do that because this is in the NVR. Port forward, we've already done that. So we've done that, so now you got to come in here. And the important part in here is you need to, you need to um, create a username and a password. Now, the password is the one you've already put in, but um, the username, and it's weird, it's like you can't click it, but if you click on uh, add name, you can, you can, uh, you can name it whatever you want, but it's important because name here, um, username, I'm going to hit save, okay, and then the password, you know what the password is because you created it, okay. Um, those two items um, are what you need for the, the, the DVR. I'm going to go to dashboard now. I'm not going to create the, you know, I didn't do the security question so I'm gonna say no so if you come out here you'll see this um, home camera home camera 99 home camera 99.hop2.org this piece right here is what you need with the username we created right the username name here and the password those three things are what you need for the DDNS and the NVR. So we're done here. Um, okay, so I'm going to go down to the NVR next. So this point, you go into your system, you got the network. We're going to DDNS. We're going to configure DDNS. There's three separate options in mine. I don't have a private or a public or a user defined in mine, unfortunately, or I could have used like YDNS because it was free. Because what this does is once you select this, it spills in the server IP. You can change it, but I tried to, but it, I couldn't get it to work on one of them. But So this one fills this in. That's auto-filled in. So these three items I told you were important when you created the domain name. It's the hop2.org, hop whatever you called yours, hop2.org. Your username and your password from no IP uh, DDNS. You need to put these in and you need to click the apply button. So that will get you where you need to go. Um, the next segment we'll talk about is on the software itself. I'll show you the QC app here now. Hopefully you can finally see this okay. Let me set it up here <laughs> somewhere. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> okay. So here's the issue you need to deal with. So there's two things. One is people want a local, it's faster. Uh, I set up the IP. So you go to your device manager. Um, you know, and you can add a device. I have one for my IP and the local, which we're going to look at. And that's the, you know, if you look at it, you see in here 192.168.1.97. So that's your local LAN IP address. You put that in there. The port is, that was filled out already. You have a username and password, okay? And that's to your NVR. You can create new users if you want. But anyway, I just use the admin account. Um, and then, so then you start your live preview and 
you know, it's using the local IPs then. So, okay, you have that set up. Then you can go back to the device manager and I have the outside one. So here is where the no IP address comes in. So everything else is the same. Same user, password for your NVR. The only thing different on this one is, is the address. So you have the address there. That always has the hop2.org. I'm kind of covering Yeah, it doesn't matter. That has the hop2.org. So whatever name you selected in the no IP um, app, you enter in here. The rest of it is the same as you did for your local IP. You use that address only. You don't use the user password for the no IP, just the address up there. The user IP, user password is your actual NVR um, account. Okay, once you hit that, now it's actually using the address outside. So outside of the house, and I used it on my phone, um, I can look at my cameras outside, and that's the goal here. All right.